car seat safety. Hello parents, my name is Jess Timms and I'm a certified passenger safety technician and a child life specialist here at Cleveland Clinic. Today I will be speaking with you about car seat safety. Car seat safety involves securing the baby in the seat correctly as well as the proper install of the base. Remember, this is an overview of basic infant car seat features. Each car seat may have specific recommendations tailored to its own brand, so please be sure to check your manual before use. The first step you'll be learning is tightening and loosening your harness. Most seats have the adjuster on the front of the seat. Underneath the padding, there is a silver button. Press the silver button and pull the harness forward to loosen. When you're ready to tighten, all you simply have to do is pull the strap. When you're preparing to get your child into the seat, make sure you loosen the harness all the way. Make sure to remove sleep sacks, swaddles, and any thick padding the child may be wearing. Place the child in the seat and put the strap over the shoulders. Make sure you have no twists or turns when putting the child in the seat. Snap the harness clip, pull the buckle between the legs, clip into the buckle on both sides. Manually tighten the harness around the hips and then pull to tighten the harness around the baby. The harness clip should be at armpit level with no more than one finger between the chest clip and the chest. This will prevent any movement of the neck or spine and lessen the chance of injury in an accident. As the baby grows, you'll want to move the straps up to the next slot. Each seat is different, so check your manual before use. This is the next slot up that we will be moving as the baby's shoulders get to here or a little beyond that. This specific seat has a latch plate that connects the straps. All you'll simply do is slide the strap off of the latch plate, feed it out this way through the next slot, and then reattach it. Some seats have two different settings. The smaller setting is for infant babies to make the harness smaller for tinier babies. The top setting is to give you more webbing in your harness as your baby grows. On the side of your seat, you are able to find weight and height requirements. When your babies surpass either of these two, you'll want to change to the next seat up. A good gauge for height is when the top of the head is two inches from the top of the seat. Once their head is here, they don't have the side impact protection needed to keep them safe in an accident. Other tips to remember are, do not purchase any extra padding for head control or strap covers to use with the seat. The padding is not crash tested with your specific seat and can cause injury in an accident and void your car seat warranty due to changing the safety of the seat. The padding that comes with the seat is crash tested with your specific seat and is safe to use. If the baby is still slouching and needs more head control, you can remove the seat's padding and fold two receiving blankets in half and roll it. Once the baby is secured in the seat, place a rolled receiving blanket on either side of the baby. This will provide head control and is safe because there is no padding between the baby and the shell of the seat to change the strap safety. Do not use thick snowsuits or thick coats. Thick padding can cause a false fit where the straps look tight, but in an accident, the material will compress and the harness straps will be loose. This increases the amount of movement to the child in an accident and can increase the chance for injury. If you choose to put a thick coat on your child, adjust the straps without the coat on. Place the coat on your child and place the baby in the seat with the straps at the pre-adjusted levels. You can also remove the coat while in the vehicle and then put the coat on the baby after removing him or her from the seat. I recommend using a fleece jacket with a warm blanket over the baby once he or she is strapped in appropriately. Check the manual for the appropriate angle of the handle while in the vehicle. If you are unsure, back is never wrong as long as the handle or the seat is not touching the vehicle seat in front of it. Some seats do crash test with the handle in the upright position and therefore will allow the handle to be up when traveling. It is also recommended to check your car for projectiles that could fly around your vehicle in a crash and cause harm to passengers. Projectiles can include cell phones, snow brushes, umbrellas, groceries, and other unsecured items on the floorboard, in cup holders, or in the cargo storage of SUVs. Secure these items under seats, in trunks, or with the use of a cargo net to keep passengers safe in an accident. Here are some car seat installation basics. Check the manual to find where the latches are stored on your base. 
You will then need to check your vehicle manual in order to see where the seat is able to be installed by using latch. You can find latch indicators above the latch bars on the vehicle seat. This could be signified by a sticker or a tag. Seats are also able to be installed with a seat belt. Some car seats come equipped with an adjustable foot pedal. Check your manual for use. The car seat is to be installed at a 45 degree angle. If your car seat does not come equipped with a foot pedal, you can use a pool noodle under the base to adjust the angle. Most seats have an indicator on the seat that will help you find the best angle. For example, some have a bubble level on the base. Once you locate the latch bars, adjust your foot pedal if there is one. You will want to hook the latches on the bar with the latches facing down. Latches can look different depending on the infant car seat, and some will need to be pushed onto the bar and you will hear a click. Once installed, pull the strap to secure the seat in the vehicle. You can place a hand and press firmly down to get a more snug fit. The seat should not move more than one inch side to side when secured where the vehicle seat and the base meet. The back of the base will have a little movement. Check the angle of the seat in the base once installed. Make sure to hear the clicks once the seat presses down. This lever on the back of the seat is to release the seat from the base. It is highly recommended to contact Safe Kids to find a local car seat check near you. You can then make an appointment to have your seat installed by a professional. Once the seat is installed, he or she will also go over all the safety features of your particular seat and the proper placement of the baby. If using a seat belt instead of the latch, the angle still will remain at a 45 degree. Locate the seat belt path on the base, clip the seat belt through that belt path, pull the extra rubbing of the seat belt down in order to change the retractor and tighten the seat into place. Seats are equipped with a seat belt path in case a base is not being used. This is a tougher install at the right angle, but is available for use. Check your manual for the correct seat belt use. Remember, now that you have all your safety tips, practice with your seat and make sure to get your base installed prior to coming to our hospital to deliver.